Hi, this is Corey, and in this screencast, I'm going to show the Teams functionality that comes uh, out of the box with Pegasus. Um, and so once again, this is a brand new Pegasus installation. I haven't made any changes here. And to show what happens with Teams, I'm going to first uh, click on this Teams tab. And this will take me to a page here where it's saying I haven't made any Teams yet, so uh, let's make our first team. Um, and so remember, we're, we're uh, imagining that we're building an application, a SaaS application for couples to help plan their weddings. And so in this case, the team might be the couple or, or the group of people that are planning the wedding. So I'm going to name it uh, Corey and Rowena's wedding, and I'll give it an ID. Um, cool. So what did that do? So that, that created a team here. And if I go now to view that team, you can see that there's a list of members, which, which right now includes just me because, because I just made it. Um, but I can invite other team members. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invite uh, Rowena to help uh, plan our wedding together. This is not her real email. Um, yeah. And so what that has done now is it's, it's created a pending invitation for, for Rowena. Um, and Rowena, uh, if, uh, if I had configured a real email backend, would get an email. Here, it's just showing up in the console. Um, but she'll get an email saying, you've been invited by, by Corey to, to join a new project. Uh, to accept your invitation, please visit this URL. So I'm just going to, I'm going to now um, open a new incognito window. And, and now I'm going to pretend that I'm Rowena uh, accepting this team invitation. Um, and so it's going to say, do you want to accept this this uh, invitation? And since Rowena, this is the first time she's seeing my uh, this application, she's going to have to create an account in order to accept the uh, invite. So that'll take her to the sign up page where she can enter her details. And now she's signed up. And if I now go to the Teams area, uh, you can see she's been added to this team. Um, and so now she can uh, see the members here. Uh, she can edit the details. She can invite new people. And where you take this from there is, is completely up to you. So uh, you know, in a, in a typical application, like a SaaS application, a team might be a company. It might be uh, sort of like a team within a company. It could be, you know, a group of friends or something. If you're if you're doing something more on the consumer side, um, but essentially, it's a group of people who's uh, who are all going to be using this application together and are going to have their own sort of siloed data. Um, and uh, so Pegasus will. Out of the box, come come with this you know simple team management functionality, the invitation workflows, uh, and uh, as well as some some guidance around best best practices for for how to take things from there and and set up your your data models in a way that that allows for for this team collaboration. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, yeah, that's that's Teams in a nutshell. Thank you.